I'm in the back of the GMC Yukon and GMC team invited us here to drive AEV edition pickup trucks and they said there was a surprise so we just pulled up so let me go outside and see what the surprise is. <laughs> I see it. Do you guys see it? Whoa. It's a two-door tray bed, flatbed GMC. It's called Sierra Grande. I love this. Oh no, our bags just left, Cole. Our SUV is leaving. All right, so this is a concept truck. So let's take in some of these details. So I can see maybe this GMC logo, it looks kind of blacked out. Maybe it's kind of a Denali or Denali Ultimate type of feeling and blacked out grill. The hood top is also painted in black, but gloss, not matte. But usually off-roaders or overlanders make the hood matte so it doesn't reflect the sun into your eye quite as much but i love the overall theme it's a concept truck once again uh for sema look at this look how beefy this is huge push bar with av lights and this is tied into down here i can see this bracket going towards this hook yes it's tying into like where this toe point is this bumper you see here is available for sale on AV edition Sierra heavy duty 2500 trucks already. It is winch capable in production. So this lower part is basically what you can get. Currently, the concept part is kind of the push bar itself. AV has been known for details and really useful stuff. And they did the same thing here. On this push bar in the front, the camera is built into the this cross horizontal tube with a <laughs> with a sprayer so you can clean it and because if you put the camera in the grill it could be blocked by these lights up front so they're thinking about all these little details and integrating it into the truck which could be productionalized if you guys like this concept and if you write lots of comments here gmc will read it and maybe they'll offer something like this then this fender flare look how deep it is i think it's two inches maybe maybe three, and it's hiding kind of this tire. This is a 40, this truck is rolling on 40s. So AEV is really known for the Prospector package on the Ram heavy duty trucks. And that's a package that's on 40s. So I guess it's no surprise that they also use the 40 inch tall tire. This particular tire is not the final concept tire. Uh, at SEMA, you will see a slightly different tire, but the same size going to be a load range F, really heavy duty, four inch tall tire. And the SSV shocks are still here. I don't know if you can poke in. Yep, they're right down there. And AV is saying that this truck has the same suspension lift as the stock AV edition truck you can buy. So they did not lift the truck further, which is important because you don't want a super tall center of gravity. So I like that. They just trimmed this front fender. See right here, it almost goes to the door. Name, what do you think about the name? Sierra Grande. That's really, I think, fun. Pinstriping all the way along and then a snorkel. So let's take a look at this. Uh, they're saying it's fully functional, fully integrated into the system. Uh, you can get some fresh air up high it's not really for fording a lot of water it's usually just to get slightly cleaner air higher off the desert floor if it's really dusty once again concept truck interior is 2024 sierra av head rests and then let's move down to the back this is approximately an eight and a half foot bed i am about six foot three my wingspan is about 6'3". So here you can see kind of the, the size of this bed. It's got kind of steps here, fenders. Uh, it's a tray bed, so, right, so you can open up. The spare tire is mounted to the bulkhead. 
And then in the back, there's more fun details. And this is a diesel. I can kind of tell by this large exhaust pipe that it's a diesel truck. In the back, there's more fun things. This bumper, you could see exposed this tow points hooks. You can see how they're designed. This is the same hook that's available on the uh, truck you can buy right now, but here it's used on a concept. And then there's a lot of steps and a winch. So an additional winch in the back. So this is a true overland rescue rig or a farm ranch rig. I love the mud flaps. Here a couple more. There's a compressor uh, button here and bed light. And of course your def and diesel. So it has a lot of different additional accessories, which I love. It looks like a power step is over here. Hey man, good to see you again. How last, you doing, man? Last time I saw you in Michigan. I know, now so, we're in Montana. So you have a concept here, tray bed on a, what, just a short wheelbase GMC Sierra heavy duty platform. Yeah, it, it's our Sierra Grande concept. It's uh, built on a regular cab long bed, uh, Sierra 2500. Yeah, can you show me like, can we open up this bed? And yeah, just yeah. see it? So the way this bed works, it, it essentially, all the sides fold down. Yeah. So it gives you a completely flat surface. And first you start. That's the reason why the Australians call it the tray bed, right? Right. So a lot of people would also put like campers solution. Campers. You know, yeah. And also if you look at it, there's no wheel well, uh, you know, there's no wheel wells yeah. to deal with. Yeah. So you have like more room than you would with a normal bed. Exactly. But, but yeah, once you get the tailgate down, it's pretty simple. Just a couple of latches, pretty simple. All it is is two latches, and then it folds down. There you go. Nice. And these holes that you see all along here, they're so you can tie your stuff down. Okay. So you can hook your ratchet straps in there. And... So it's pretty standard. Do you have a, another concept, like a two-door ram, right, tray bed? Yes. Is this a very similar bed, basically? Very similar, yeah. yes completely different underneath, but very similar to what you're seeing on the top. Sweet. It's interesting that you didn't have to like modify the suspension much from the, like the, the truck you can buy, which is a truck on 35s, right? Right. With, with a standard uh, AEV suspension or 84X suspension. Yeah. The only modifications we did, um, this was built on an SLE trim level. So, um, we added all the AT4X suspension components onto that. Um, so it really doesn't have a lift, but compared to the truck we started with, it does. You know, using the AT4X, steering knuckles, control arms, uh, Multimatic dampers, you know, it's a really solid factory tuned setup. I love this. I love the name, <laughs> Sierra Grande. I love the look of this truck. It's not very long. It's a two door regular cab. There's still some space behind the seats, you know, for storage in there. And it has custom badges and it looks really, really sharp. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This is a concept truck for SEMA. So I will, TFL will also be at SEMA. So stay tuned for a lot more coverage from the show. We'll see the new tires. I'll give you more information about it when we're there. Pretty amazing. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time.